to get the finish here under these ISK rules. Thank you very much for joining us here at Battle Arena. I'm, as always, your host, Steve Brinkman. Joining me later on will be Chris Benson when he gets out of the cage. But yeah, we're starting off with an actual, with people that can just throw fire in those fists. Brandon Durrell, fairly experienced, coming out of a great gym in Fifth Elements MMA from Nottingham. It's time for us to, well, slowly but surely get to it. Looks like he's coming in great shape here. Long, rangy, 135 pound young man. Mohamed Saleh, a first reaction MMA. Coming out. This is going to be very interesting in this bantamweight division. Getting opened up to all sorts of title challengers. And Brandon or Muhammad are going to be looking to put themselves into that title picture momentarily. Both of these young, young men are green, rangy for the division. We're going to get started. These are three three minute rounds. change here. I think there are too many in the corner. Here we go, they touch gloves in the middle. 135 pounds, they've got the power to knock out, and they've got the speed to find the find the openings. So let's see, who can be there first? Is it Durrell, is it Salah? Durrell showing some looks in the beginning there with a switch high kick. Salah's backing him up. Nice footwork from both these fighters. Oh, beautiful front kick up the middle. Gives him something to think about there, doesn't he? Right, Anderson Silva rest that beautiful front kick. Oh, nice hook over the top as well. I'm liking that Durrell's switching stances. Seems to be going into that like lead karate style. And floating in front. Oh, that calf kick, that's become so popular now in MMA. You never used to see that. It's become a real go-to. We got some acknowledgement there from Mo Salah. Ooh, take a knee. That's a good inadvertent and low kick there. They were exchanging a lot of leg kicks. That's the problem when you kick into the open side, right? And you kick it and it can kind of ride up and hit into the box. But that's why we wear boxes, ladies and gentlemen. Protects them. That's a strange thing in MMA, Steve, where, kind of, especially with these, uh, these uh, newer fighters and they're coming up getting experience, they tend to copy techniques. You know, you leg kick me, so I want to leg kick you back. I want to kind of get it back at you. And there you go. Brent. Oh, spinning techniques. I think he does favor the orthodox side, but he's getting backed up here. Salah seemed to always want to be stepping forward. Looks like Darrell might have a chin pick there, but he can't look away. And he's up against the cage, he's getting crushed there. He does well to bring his arms inside. He's got the underhook on his right side there. Does Darrell can he reverse this position against the cage? Oh, he can go for a head and arm throw. And give up his back. That is the problem that head and arm throw, Steve. You can give up position so easily. And now he's in the bottom of mount in a terrible spot. With the arm isolated as well. Oh, Mohammed switched for that arm lock. Oh, no. Oh, he's falling off almost. What Durrell's looking for. Looked like he was kind of looking for footlock or something. A bit of now he's wrapped up in a rear naked choke. Yeah. Solid doesn't have the hooks in, but he might be able to get quite a squeeze here on the neck of Durrell. He's doing well to come back over top, get hooks in. He can get that right hook in and start stretching him out. 
These are three three-minute rounds, so they can go by fairly quickly. He's in a triangle position. He threw his leg over the top. He's over the top of that arm, but I think he's happy to use that shin to pin his arm to get the ground and pound going. And Jarrell's being very wiry here, being very... And he's trying to out the back escape, so he's trying to get his feet right over the top into the armpits of Mahalis so, so he can sneak out the back, and it's kind of worked for him a little bit. Yeah, it did work beautifully. Now he's got a reverse mount. It's an unusual position. Most people would sit off here and take side control or maybe look for a leg attack. This is a very scrappy first round. He's back fisting in there. <laughs> the problem, it's just, if you lose position, often you end up with them on your back. So most people would step off here and look for, step into half or side control, just like he's doing. Beautiful transition, but and just lost control. That was a great knee up the middle from Brendan Durrell. Oh, coming in the last 10 seconds of this round. And really, it's been a, a story of Durrell getting in bad positions, then getting out and capitalizing so far. He's backing away. More spinning kicks from Jarrell. What an exciting first round at our massive event here at Edgbaston Arena. Always amazing to see the, the level, and it, it just continues to increase. And we got those spin, all that spinning stuff there from Brandon Durrell, but we have a very strong stalking style from Mohamed Saleh as he's coming forward, 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 and not allowing Durrell to time and place those kicks properly with range. Yeah, it was a very interesting first round. I mean. It, it's a great technique from both fighters. I like. I really appreciated those low calf kicks. It was nice to use those to set things up, and then a spinning attack as well from Durrell. Uh, but then on the ground, it just going a little bit of immaturity almost with that uh, head and arm throw because he didn't have just a strong enough control of the head. So even if you get the throw, they're going to end up behind you. It's a big risk maneuver. It's not something I personally like to do in the cage. Yeah, he rushed it, and then unfortunately, Mohamed Salah wasn't able to uh, to capitalize there, was he? So it'll be a. This is what happens in the amateur ranks. They might get into a dominant position, but they don't quite capitalize on it. Nor did they get dominant there. So we'll see if there's improvement here in the second round because both are looking to finish. Brendan Durrell looking to finish with spinning kicks, and Salah looking to pound it out. Both looking ready to go. Very well conditioned. Round two. Huh? Yeah. Fight. Gloves and immediately Durrell starts backing backing off, trying to place that stepping up push kick, side kick. Oh, almost a body lock throw there. Locks up a, gr a guard, does Durrell. I think this is wise from Salah to look for the takedown. He, he seemed to be having good success in the grappling in the last round, and uh, Durrell showed how dangerous he is on the feet with those spinning attacks and those calf kicks earlier. I want to see Darrell climb his legs up a bit here and get into a, a higher guard so he can attack some arms. Yeah, he does have good wrist control. He could look for a triangle or an arm bar, maybe even a sweep. But sometimes it, it, you're a bit scared to let go of those wrists because you know some ground and pounds coming. It's so different to like doing jiu-jitsu in the gym. He's trying to sneak that knee through. I think Mohamed Salah is wise to it, but... Yeah, did well to oh, the hips there. He steps over the half guard. Very good transition there. Very smooth transition as well from Mohamed Salah. Yeah, we don't see Durrell doing the right things. He's not coming up on his left side with that underhook. He's getting flattened out here. Let's see if there's some action that Salah can do from here. Can he start peppering with ground and pound? Yeah, I mean, I think Salah's in a good position to pass that half. It's open most of the time. Like you said, Steve, doesn't have the underhook, doesn't have the control. So Mohamed should be able to slide through, but I think he's content looking for that ground and pound. Very Randy Couture, sit in half and use it, because then it's very difficult for the other guy to stand up. Durrell's just doing well to keep his posture broken, isn't he? So he can't sit back and actually do it, and he goes back in the guard. Right hand sneaks through. He's looking for that triangle again. He's trying to sneak the shin through. Getting an angle from the bottom. Looking for an armbar. Oh, now a triangle. Lost both. Up kick. kick. Very nice. Busy round. And so far, all in Salah's favor. Salah's throwing kind of a snap kick up to the body, isn't he? Uh, both, both of these guys got really nice sna snappy jabs. So a lot of tools in both toolboxes. Hmm. Oh, big oh. uppercut got through. Wow, this could all be over. Definitely rocked him with a big uppercut. Brandon Durrell found the floor very fast after that uppercut. And now he's looking to slow things down. Salah's on top with me on belly, and now he's in mount. Oh, brutal position. Great Durrell's got to dig deep. Great killer instinct from uh, Mohamed Salah. He's got to do a lot here to finish the round, though. He should be trying to pepper with shots. Yeah, it's almost a bit of a strategic mistake now from Salah, Mohamed Salah. Just, he was so close to being stopped. If he could have gone maybe neon belly and just peppered shots down, the referee would have stopped it. 
given yeah. a, a little bit of recovery car time for Darren Durrell. Transition into an armbar, but he has, yeah, exactly as you said, Chris, he's gone, he's given him time to recover. But he's not answering these shots here. It's all oh, there's a big stop there. That's a good stop, I think, from Alan Jackson. A lot of blood on the face, I think, coming from the nose there of Brandon Durrell. He just got dropped. I think that, that uppercut must have been just perfectly on the chin. We'll go to our official decision in a moment. Mohamed Salah happy to greet his fans over there. An excellent and dominant TKO victory here in the second round. What a great way to start off our night here at Ed Bashton Stadium. A back and forth first round, and then a second round that was all Mohamed Salah. And he hits the he hits the home run shot there with the uppercut and follows up beautifully with measured strikes there. In the, in the final 10 seconds of the second round. What a great way of starting. Here we go to the <coughs> official announcement in the ringside with Chris Fenton. <laughs> Thank you. 